Scott Padgett joining us now. I know we had really good weather here uh, today, but listen, when you hear of deals like that, yeah. let's all hop on a plane and get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you but you're buying right it's only eleven dollars let's go bucks. for yeah, it it's on me. <laughs> i got karen you folks at home yeah absolutely <laughs> <laughs> You heard it here first. Ken's buying, and you know what? Uh, yeah, the weather here has been great. We're getting a little bit warmer than that nice taste of fall that we saw towards the end of last week and through the weekend. The next three days, though, it's not going to last too long. We get back to 89 going into Thursday. So, yes, that's going to be the warmest day of the next seven days. That's also the day a cold front comes in. As that slides in, it's going to shift the winds around to the north, but the coldest air is not going to arrive probably until later on Friday, then going into Saturday. So you see 87 degrees on Friday, but then look at Saturday, 81 for the high temperature. So that's that fall air returning. We're back into the mid 80s going towards next Monday, but over the next six to seven days, we're dry. Now the front's moving in. You're thinking, yes, we might get some rain. It's not going to happen. We'll see an increase in cloud cover, more cloud cover on Thursday morning for you as the front slowly moves its way on through. So that mix of sun and clouds will be greeting you through the day on Thursday, then going into Friday. We still have some of the rain, uh, no, well, not the rain, the clouds hanging out for us. Uh, I, we really need the rain, so I want the rain here, uh, but it's not going to materialize. So right now we've zoomed our way into Globe Life Field, as you can see there for the game going on tonight. Roof is closed, but beautiful weather for us. We have 85 degrees right now, calm winds, dew point at 49. So that dry air is still sticking around. And going through the remainder of the night tonight, our temperatures in the mid 80s across the Metroplex will hold on to the next couple of hours. We're at 87 in Stephenville, a little bit warmer in Comanche at 92. Temperatures will continue to cool their way on down to the 77 degree mark by 8 by the time we get to about 10, 71. And then overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, our temperatures down to the low 60s to the upper 50s. So still refreshingly cool when you step on out of the door and then temperatures back up to about 87 degrees for tomorrow. What's not cool, especially in my book, is the pollen count. Today, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, that medium high category with ragweed and elm. Uh, we're going to be seeing a dry seven day period of the seven day forecast. You're able to see 81 Saturday, we're back to 86 Tuesday, but I peeked ahead. Uh, we're gonna maybe see some rain going to the 14th and 15th, and we haven't seen rain in 30 days now.